Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Irony Podcast. I am your co-host, the Satirical Joker, and I'm joined by my fellow co-host known as Madman. Hello. And I'm also joined by the main host of this podcast, the um, individual's name we do not know of, however I do, and um, I will say this, I for some reason know views in different countries, that's all I'm going to say. I know, I know four people with the same name in different countries. Bad, bad. Oh. Your name is public on your bloody in on your Discord profile. Shit, what? Yes, it was public. Your name was public on your Discord profile. Also, no one's really gonna be able to trace your name. Oh, that's right. Eh. Right. Oh yeah. I, oh yeah. By the way, the guy's name on Discord is Triangulus. I never finished that. <laughs> I get distracted right. way too easily. I do want to note this is going to be a much more serious episode than normal. So, yeah. Yeah, it's, it, if, it, if it's not as, as um, comedic as the other episodes, you can tell why. I also like to point this out now that this podcast itself will probably be removed by YouTube, mostly because of the topic that we're about to talk about. Yep. So if you are seeing this, it means that YouTube's willing to have serious videos on their website. That's in the head, though. Well, the humanist report is still kicking around, so. Well, he's got a really, really, he's got like a big backing and he and he talks talks about political stuff but here's the thing though he pretty much finances it on patreon and whatever adverts he can play on his videos yeah that's true not to mention i'm pretty sure his his um whole business on you is more than just youtube i'm pretty sure he has a website as well hmm. where he gets like traction too yeah i haven't I haven't seen a sort of uh, website of his, but uh, I don't look at like the description of any of his videos, really. So uh, it's yeah. probably in the description. Most probably is right. Yeah. Okay, I think, we're, we're, I think we're just delaying the topic now, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. Let's get to the chase. On first okay. of all, we do have to say the topic list as well, just so. Okay, all right, the topic list will be about the, this is the less serious topics first, will be about the possible, rele possible release of a Left 4 Dead 3 due to current, due to recent little easter eggs and leaks, made at the expense of everyone's imagination, because let's be honest, Valve, they hate the number 3 in game franchises. Yeah. Well, second guess... one, it, the second topic is... I've completely forgot the topic list, and um, I believe it's about Microsoft lawsuit. Oh, yeah, and I shit you not, six hundred million dollars or six oh, million dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Don't. Yeah, this, to be fair, um, this man has no case whatsoever. But we can get into that later. Yeah. Don't know how it warrants six hundred, anything above ten grand. To be honest. Well, the court he chosen was chosen practically for it. Mm. Anyway, let's go on with topics. Uh, uh, update on net neutrality, which um, has been a major topic for us, and one that's very much yeah. despised, specifically by me. And the serious topic, the yeah. uh, recent shooting in Florida. Oh. oh yeah. Just just hearing that already makes me feel like depressed almost, to be honest. I have no well, in case, there. Well, in case you haven't heard, a couple of days ago there was a shooting in a Florida school where the gunman injured and killed around twenty people. The gunman was then later apprehended out, um, apprehended off the um. Buildings, grounds, 
and he was taken into custody and at all I know of the situation mostly because it's really hard for like it's really hard to like look into stuff like this because just thinking about it itself makes you feel sick to your stomach. Makes me and you like just like... really to be honest, you don't really want to learn more about it. Otherwise you'd be making yourself feel more shit and even go into like depression itself. There's one thing yeah. that as well that I want to really talk about is the fact that the FBI were told were like were, they were they had hints about this happening a month ago and they did absolutely nothing to investigate it or to see if there's any factual evidence behind it. Not to mention as well that it just recently came out as well that the sheriffs that the, um, I believe the county sheriff or one of the sheriffs were actually also received tip, t like tip-offs about the possibility of a shooting and they didn't act upon them. If they were, the shooting would probably have never happened. Yeah. Maybe, but, you know, okay, the shooting in Florida wouldn't have happened if they read through the clues, but who is to say that the next month or even next week there won't be another shooting happening instead of the one in Florida? Yeah, because like this is America. Like shootings happen in America, like every day, basically. Yeah, pretty much. And big news stories about shootings. Well, guess what? There wasn't a year over. Last couple of years, I don't remember exactly how many, but there wasn't a year without school shooting, at least mm -hmm. one. Yeah. Um, is there anything? Is there anything else we should really say on this, or maybe some personal thoughts? Ah. Uh... To be honest, if I if I was the cop detaining the shooter, I wish I would have just shot him right in the head. Honestly, even if that means I lose my job and possibly go to jail, fuck that. I'm not letting I... that piece of shit live. <laughs> well, <laughs> you'd lose your job if I would carry out what I planned in my middle school, and you are the policeman who caught me. But uh, I don't want to go on the no-fly list. Yeah. Yeah. And Seth, uh, what what are your personal thoughts? Well, uh, you already know of them because I've had a because me and another member of another uh, podcast member have actually talked about like stuff related to it. So I'm just going to essentially summarize what that conversation was because it's in a public place. Yeah. Essentially, the discussion came down to how it could have been prevented. And in all honesty, it could have been. And future things like this could be prevented if the government actually decides to increase funding to act for actual protections in schools. And this could essentially just mean like increasing funding just to have extra security on ground. Um, have more funds to, to afford and have private security contracts which would allow the um, school to have more which would allow the security to which would uh, sorry which would allow the school to bring in more security personnel and here's a thing with private security a good amount of them are ex army ex police and ex uh, contractors by what I mean by contractors is like people who've been to war zones and like worked solo they Basically, ex academia friends. Essentially, essentially, essentially uh, ex mercenaries. Yep. These would be the type of people that would have experience in like situations and would like know how to one handle a gun properly. Two would know how to handle a shooting situation if it was to occur. And with the increase in funding and whatnot, they would be able to have widespread surveillance 
like in the actual school itself and if they would have gods on patrols which they mo which they most likely do but in some of them some schools they wanted they would have to they would have the patrols and the cameras constantly looking around the school they would be uh, able to essentially alert the gods of what happened like if anything's yeah. that if anything's happening and if they see in the camera see anything suspicious, even if it's a false alarm, they can immediately hit a panic button. Even if it's a false alarm, they still the police would still be on their way. Yeah. Like they would arrive a lot quicker than if the shooter already open fired, for example. There's well, really not much you could do in that situation. There is also another way of preventing it from happening by somehow getting rid of people of Undesirable yeah. of people you can't just contain. You can teach them how to be compassionate at all. Because the mo most of these school shooters I've heard of, well, basically they were bullied. But hey, what do I know? Yeah, you cut out there. I didn't. I didn't oh. hear anything you said. Oops. And I think you cut out again. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. Moving on. Yeah, we probably should move on, yeah. to be honest. But, um... Before we move on, I just want to say my... My thoughts and whatever else go out to the families affected that it's just uh anyways yeah we should probably move on okay so right, the next topic on the list is the uh, microsoft lawsuit <laughs> oh god yeah right so essentially i covered like a little bit of it in my news channel which i have on the server essentially yeah. i'll just quickly load up the article just to make sure i'm not misquoting anything but essentially from lawsuit the guy got a was it he ordered an asus laptop with windows 7 but the product itself automatically updated to windows 10 and instead of requesting a replacement of the laptop or even better yet uh I'm pretty sure if a Windows 7, Windows 7 laptop were going to Windows 10, there's a way to revert it. You could easily just revert it like that, or, you know... Yeah, there this was a problem doing, with it, actually. Do what this man is saying, and it's and essentially saying it's violating rights. But I don't see in any case how the violation, if there's really any, is worth $600 million dollars. Let alone, like, I could see it being like a lawsuit for like a hundred grand, yeah, but six hundred yeah. million, all because of a bloody laptop. You easily could have just requested a refund or filed a complaint with them. Yeah. I, like. Where are you getting this number from, please? Um, I kind of may possibly explain where he is getting it. Basically, it's Microsoft. They have loads of money. They won't get poorer if I will see from 600 million from them because of them updating my laptop to Windows 10. That's the thinking of this wait, person. Like Either way, they will settle this out of court for a lot less. Either way, so either way, you're still gonna get a lot of money, which I can see you soon and just to get money. But it, this is a bad thing as well because him just suing them over a really stupid reason just allows other people thinking, oh yeah, let's do the exact same thing. He's, set, he's setting a very bad precedent for other people just to like, oh look, he got money from a bullshit. 
And you are right I'm with that. I'm going to do the same. You're right with that. But um, actually, I think that the user of this laptop wasn't really technically inclined. I mean, I understand saying that recovery partition was disabled, was inaccessible after upgrade, but can't you just, I don't know, get the ISO from somewhere, from Microsoft even, put it on a flash drive and install it yourself? Is it that hard to do? Mm. Yeah, it, right, the uh, article is saying right now, even if it became even if it were, even if it became non functional immediately, um the company if you bought it directly they would have to send you a replacement, so it's it's easily him just suing them just to see how much money he can get. Because let's be honest, this is not going to go to court. This is going to be settled outside of court. The guy's going to probably get us max 100k. Definitely. Mm, I remember reading. If anything, just if not that, just a replacement laptop and a sneaky um, go fuck yourself, mate, for wasting our time. I remember reading yesterday on it in one of the Polish uh, news outlets. And they've said act that he's actually going to the court with this. And, and to the court at that, which, um, how do I say it? Well, it has a lot of cases against such a big company like Microsoft, and people won with them. The court was ruled in favor of people, not the companies. But civil, I, I don't understand. Right, civil rights violation. That's what he's. That's what he's saying. Civil rights violations for when your laptop automatically updated to a newer version. That's How what, does this violate your civil rights? Please. What are the metrics? It's like the stupidest thing I've ever heard, pretty much. And uh, I've I've seen a lot of stupid things, so yeah. Just look at Michelle's Twitter page. Yeah. Uh, People. Um. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, this is why okay. I do the math majority okay. of the talking. Okay. Um, triangulars, please don't get offended, but uh, you know why Americans don't really have the best opinion in the world? As in, people see them as dumb people? Yeah. Well, basically, the way I, I see it is Americans aren't really dumb, they are doing dumb stuff. Because it doesn't, it isn't written in the instruction booklet. Like, let's say, for example. Wait, hold on, I got a question. Are you insulting the guy suing Microsoft or are you indirectly insulting Triangulus? No, no, no. Right, I'm this trying is to get setting. on, I'm trying to get on why this guy is suing Microsoft. Money. And that's, 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 yeah, that's what that it comes too. down to. Yeah, but, like, a, look, like a get rich, uh, get rich quick scheme or whatever. Kind Get of. rich quick scheme. Uh, you buy bloody chainsaw, which doesn't have a big ass sticker saying, "Please don't stop it with your crutch." You use it this way, and you go to court because the instruction booklet or the chainsaw itself didn't say, "Please don't stop with your nuts." Yeah. Yeah, that's what I were going on earlier. <laughs> Ah, anyways, um, what else is there? Next topic. Yeah. Well, net neutrality, maybe. Oh, what fun. Apparently, yeah, FTC's fun. chairman is under investigation. We Yes. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. It, it, took them, it took them ages, but he's eventually finally under investigation. Ages. Wait, by who? The FBI? Or... I'm going to confirm this before I start sprouting off stuff because I like to be. Um, I guess. So, he so was just talk about 
just talk about random bullshit until um, I've got the factual information because I'm a lazy shit and I forgot to actually save the link to the article. Uh... Um, well, not to be racist, but from where his family comes from, I mean, he looks Middle Eastern, so maybe that's the reason. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. FCC Chairman Ajit Pai investigated for Sinclair Ties lawmaker say. Ajit Pai, the controversial chairman of the Federal Communications Commission, is under investigation by the FCC Inspector General for his ties to a broadcaster, according to lawmakers. Oh, <sighs> what people thought, actually. Representative Frank... Uh, rep Representative Frank Polon Jr., um, I hope I'm saying this right, um, DNJ and Rep. I, I made, um, I apologize, I cannot pronounce your name. Representative Asia E. Cummings requested the investigation saying Pi and AIDS improperly pushed for rule changes to benefit St. Clair. Oh my god, this may act. If he is found guilty, they will have to reverse the rules. What? He, they're investigating him because they, f they found potential ties to Ajit Pai no. and a media company that would benefit if the net neutrality rules were repealed. So, no. and no. here's the thing: if you plug, if if you throw in his uncooperation and unwillingness to talk to the public or even bring forth any of the two million comments, which I'm saying there's probably more than two million. I think there was either two million to twenty-two million. Either way, providing this is proven, if they're able to find legitimate proof of this, his decision is automatically biased, meaning it has to be meaning his vote has to be removed. So let me get, get this straight. If you'll find, be found guilty, net neutrality comes back in the United States. There's a high chance because here's a thing. It would have to be decided by by the majority. It would be a take away Ajit Pai's vote. It would be 2-2. Two, two. But here's the thing, though. Those two, rep those two um, commissioners would most likely back down because, let's be honest. Yeah. If Ajit Pai is caught, they'll be, they'll be investigated next. Yeah, they are going to be in deep <laughs> shit. So That's either fine. way... If Ajit Pai is found guilty, because his choice was biased, because here's the thing, he is the one who brought this up, he is the one who wanted yeah. this entire thing to occur. So guess what, mate? Na 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 na. Na 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 na. na. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> you really mean shit. Prison. You fucking slight shady cunt. Hey, hey, hey. Get fucking sued. And Soon. Enjoy your time in prison. He's, he's gonna get sued. Guantanamo. No, he will be sued. You know, for, no. Here's the thing: independent companies are gonna end up suing him. I know for I know that one of one company. I think free the press. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on this, but I know for a fact that a company is actually looking into suing Ajit Pai directly. So basically, so, everyone's gonna leave him broke. Yes, and possibly he may end up in Guantanamo Bay. No, 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 Trump, no, Trump won't, Trump won't allow that because, tr remember, Trump essentially appointed him chairman. Oh, yeah, that's right. Fuck my Obama life. got him as a, Ob he was a commissioner under Obama, now he's the chairman under Trump because Trump appointed him the chairman. He says that Trump, Trump's saying, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm here to make America great again. Um, business side, much. sure. But uh, you, you're definitely you're definitely making businesses better because um, you're allowing businesses to essentially fuck over the internet, you know, the site, you know, the internet that you use on a frequent basis. That apparently three o'clock in the morning, a site known as Twitter made. Um, yeah, your advisors really didn't advise you well on that move, did they? Oh yeah, again, they probably uh, pushed you towards doing it because this is probably they probably said, oh hey, guess what? If net neutrality gets repealed, you get to tweet more. <laughs> oh, gotcha. well, we'll also, neutrality. I want to show this right now. Ted Cruz. I don't understand how much Ted Cruz must have been paid to support repealing net neutrality since the fucker you watches a lot of porn. <laughs> what? 
Yeah, do you not remember Ted Cruz holding oh, yeah. the Twitter page? Like, he ended up, like, retweeting something, like, legitimately a porn gif or a porn oh, God. video thing. Oh, so why are you against net neutrality, mate? <laughs> like, you can't watch hey, your porn. Dude, dude, dude. If net neutrality would be repelled, he would have personal, private access to the all porn the hub. porn he needs. Only him in entire America. Oh, and I also just want to say this right now, um, in reference to um, porn-loving senators and whatnot, um, apparently in March or April, they're um, having ID checks for, inter for online access to internet porn sites. Oh, God. <laughs> Seriously? So, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, there is. <laughs> this is... So oh, all you people wanting to watch free porn, you're fucked. So, um... I, I recommend downloading any video download you can and start copying and pasting <laughs> links and downloading your favorite porn immediately because you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh god. And I would just like to apologize because we are complete fucking hypocrites. Yeah. We aren't yeah. senators or high ranking We're talking about, we're talking about porn loving corrupt senators. In the same video, where we discussed a very serious topic at the beginning. We are legitimate, we are legitimate dickheads. Yeah. I was actually eh. about to point that out, but it's like, eh, I well, well let this go. <laughs> excuse me, gentlemen, what's the name of the podcast? The Irony Show? Irony Podcast. It should really be known as the Cringe Podcast of this route. Yeah. Right, let's say, listen, maybe listen, that... right, listen, if I use my political leeway on this podcast, which essentially I own 75% of it, and you really can't argue with our triangulars, can we change the name to the cringe cast? Uh, I, I kind of like the current name more, but I'll think about that. Okay, right, that, in, that case, in that case is how you use your political advantage. Or let's get uh, some Putin running. Also, no, um, I, would, I would just like to point out that um, I don't have that much leeway on the fucking podcast. I'm just bullshitting, going, hey, hey, if you're willing to change the name, I mean, hey, I, I'm down. <laughs> I mean, hey, you know, just a suggestion. So, did we just go through all of our topics already, pretty much? Um, we. We haven't talked about the post the um, leaks for Left for Dead, but that's because oh. I, I need to pull up the link real quickly. And here's the thing in regards, because in if case Dom was here, because he's saying that Saints Row got confirmed, I just want to talk about this as well. The difference between the Left for Dead rumors and the Saints Row rumors is that the Left for Dead rumors have actual um in more information to back it. Other than a company, other than a company reacquiring their previous game titles. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Hmm. I actually I wouldn't mind Left for Dead's card game. To be honest, people are gonna like crucify uh, crucify me for this, but. I never really got to play the Left 4 Dead games. That's cool. I like them, but eh, not everyone has time or likes this kind of games. Yeah. I mean, I, I like mean, those kind of games, but I just never really got the chance to yet. Well, if you have Left 4 Dead 2 or 1, I could download it on my Steam. On how much is it on Steam? Let me check. Shit, I didn't know. Okay, I have. I cannot find this link at all. I have this. I had the link saved in my history. Where is it? Um. Shit! Who the fuck is asking me for a favor? Oh. You reading your DMs out loud again? Yes. Nah, actually, it's something about open source software. Nobody cares. <laughs> oh my, um, I actually just want to say this right now. Um, 
you know, we, you know our best pals, 2K Games, you know. Yeah. A very yeah. shit game publisher. Yeah, um, they confirmed, yes, they confirmed a couple of days ago that, um, that there's been job cuts at the studio that made Mafia free. Ooh. Yeah. Rest in peace. There's no confirmed numbers of employees. So anywhere from two to the entire studio. Mm. It was a significant lot. Apparently, well, according to Kotaku, which um, can be reliable in most cases, but they wouldn't really bullshit with stuff like this. It was a significant number with a large portion of the staff now having to leave. That's not good. Nope. I would say it's bad as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. And still no word about the land spree. <sighs> what is it? And people are saying that it's that they're glad that developed that the uh, people got laid off. But let's be oh. honest, two K games, um, they probably rushed them with you know another game. Star Wars Battlefront 2. God, how many games? Oh. Really, man? Again? Oh, and I. Oh, and that. Uh, uh, oh, shit. Was it. Is it No Man's Lie or No Man's Sky? No Man's Sky. No, no Man's Sky. Yeah, uh, that game, which was, which was a total PR fucking disaster. Oh shit, that's, that's why I was going to turn... Fuck. Sean Murray. Jesus Christ. He's like the, the best manipulator alive. He got so many people to pre-order the game. Like, I, I don't want to bring this up. I mean, he has some balls to go on national television and lie directly to the guy... I, I forgot your name, I think... Oh, I've got, I can't think of him, Steve. He has the balls to lie on national television in front of millions of people watching. He has the balls. He has legitimate balls to lie, saying, oh yeah, there's multiplayer. What's oh, already, like... He was drunk. And then you got completely wrong by two streamers on PS4, mate. Well, was, was there even like a lawsuit? That, uh, uh, yeah, be... I think that was dropped, though, I'm not sure. Oh. Uh, because here's the thing. Shit. They never... Here's the thing that normal, uh, Hello Games' defense would be that they never officially announced it themselves. It was just, you know, like the high, like the highest ranking guy in the company, I'm pretty sure Sean Murray was. I just need to confirm what his position yeah, was. Yeah, he was CEO, I believe. Yeah. Um... You know, it's like, you know, just like massive lies, like, you sh I'm sorry, but in any case, they could be sued, mostly because of company's failure to actually rein Sean Murray in and stop lying. Why the fuck you... No, 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 no. They're a British game, they're a British video game developer. Well... CD Projekt Red, I believe you heard about them and their Polish. feature series. Yeah, Polish. they said over Polish. Polska, uh, Anyway, Donald. Do you want to know how many people were working at Hello Games in 2016? No. Oh. 16 people. Fuck. Yeah, that, that should have been a massive red flag. Shot but yeah, um... Sorry. Sean Murray was the is the company's director, so yeah. Um, and founder, well, one of the founders. So. God, you are poor. Oh, shiza. What? <laughs> like, is it when you when your bloody company director makes up so much shit, and the lawsuit has most likely been dropped because they can't do fuck all, can they? Yeah. There won't be any loot boxes in Cyberpunk 2077.
but then EA comes around, and it's like, mm -hmm. oh, well. Step aside, child. Step aside. We've got like, this. There, there will be no microtransactions in video games anymore. EA, hold my beer. Whoa, 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 hold your horses. Let us handle the situation. Buy our games. There we go. How about Microsoft buying out EA? Ooh. That'd be kind of interesting, actually. Granted, um... Microsoft buying out EA would, um... Well, uh... I would, I would consider giving up on life, officially. Because, um, EA being controlled by Microsoft is essentially Microsoft, if they still have ties, is having ties with Disney. Which, Microsoft and Disney is not a good combination. Because, um, Disney is the biggest... You can't really argue my point. Is the biggest media empire on earth? Basically, yeah. Yeah, you can't argue yeah. my point. Anyway, a media empire like Disney, working alongside a tech giant, Microsoft, is um, you're asking for indoctrination of the youth and propaganda of Mickey Mouse to have subliminal messages in every one of their products. You're asking for that. Or oh, what are you asking? For? Uh kind of mind control that doesn't yeah. involve subliminal messages. Or well, you could just be asking for legitimate indoctrination and propaganda to be sure at a very fast rate, a lot more than you normally would if you just had a normal media empire, because let's be honest, if you have uh, Mickey Mouse themed computers, um, yeah, well, uh... Yeah. In fact, that would be fucking weird. Well, you're talking about indoctrination. Well, Windows 10, all I have to say. Windows 10 Mickey Mouse edition. Yes. I mean, come on. You have Linux distro, which is called HANA Montana Linux. And yes, it's pink. Mother, can you get? Can you go to the shop and get some tie pods and bread, please? <laughs> oh. God damn. No. <laughs> I need to Wait. send something to a guy. What, what? Where do you live? What country again? Sorry. Um, Belarus. <laughs> Whatever foreign country this person lives in. I am being sued for racism. Get in there. Woo! Dude, come on. <laughs> oh god. Retardation, boy. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Retardation. America. Best kind of America. Fuck, fuck you. yeah. America. Fuck yeah. Oh. Yes, yeah, so I believe that's everything about. That's everything for this podcast, I believe. Uh, yeah. Yes, we will. Yeah. Um. So I. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Oh.